Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long, long time since I've uploaded anything here, but I wanted to do a new Let's Play with The Sims 4 and share it with you guys. I'm aiming to upload a new episode of this Let's Play once a week on Mondays, but that depends on how busy I get. And it's also possible that I may live stream some of the other games I play like World of Warcraft, League of Legends, and other single player games that may be coming out. I'm really looking forward to Star Wars Outlaws, so I may do that as well. So my channel isn't just devoted to one game or another. Okay, so why am I back? Well, I thought having the experience I have in the video game industry for over 27 years would give you guys a unique take on gaming with The Sims 4. I have always loved The Sims back from its first iteration and it's a great vehicle for storytelling. My background in screenwriting, especially for video games, will definitely come in handy in telling this story. I did write quite a bit of a background for these characters that you can learn more about by visiting tlp-guild.com forward slash sims. Now let's get to an intro of this family and this story. Okay, so here we have all the residential worlds that are part of the expansion game and stuff packs for The Sims 4. And yes, I have every single one of them. But this story starts in the wonderful island world of Sulani, which came with the expansion of Island Living and is inspired by the American state of Hawaii. I mean, who doesn't want to live in Hawaii, right? Um, in this world, we'll start with the Elder Yang family. We have our matriarch, Veng Yang, who is an island native with a long history of fishermen and chefs in her family. She was born and raised here, and it is here that she met her beloved husband, Liam Yang, also a native of the island. Vin is an exceptional cook, which has influenced all of her children. One of them owns a restaurant, and we'll talk about him a little later. She can often be found helping her son's restaurant or helping as a lifeguard on the beach. No one knows these waters better than her. Now, Liam's family has a lineage that spans generations, deeply devoted to the preservation of their culture and lifestyle. He started a conservation group as a young man on the island, and uh, that has brought the community together for over like 40 years to help keep the island clean, its inhabitants happy, and create a synergy with the marine life around them. He has uh, recently retired from the president position of that group, but still devotes himself to writing books, giving speeches on sea life, conservation, and eco-friendly living. They have four children together, their youngest being Lin. Lin still lives at home, even though she recently graduated from high school. She's taken her time to apply to universities because honestly, she's sort of scared to go off to college. I mean, we've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> and there aren't any colleges there on the island, so she would have to leave the comfort of her family, her friends, and her community. Uh, she lives in a small villa that is separated from her parents' home, but is still part of the same lot. And that's kind of very common for that culture. Um, over the years, the Yangs have built onto their property to make room for all their children. And the villa was once inhabited by each of her elder siblings until they moved out on their own. The eldest of the kids is married with four kids of her own. Chantal never wants to leave this island. She loves it. <laughs> she has followed in the footsteps of her father and works at the conservation group that her father founded and fully intends to one day become president herself. Uh, Chan married one of the world's most famous surfer, Jasper Murphy. I kind of modeled him after Kelly Slater. So if you know anything about surfing, Kelly Slater is, you know, the god of surfing, basically. So I modeled him after that. Now, anyone that knows anything about Hawaii knows how big surfing is down there, right? It's one of the world's biggest mecca for this sport. And you would think that the Sims 4 team would have included that sport as part of the island living pack. But no. And I think that's a huge miss on their part. There are jet skis and sailboats available, but no surfing. Like, what were you thinking? I mean, really? You're going to give me a Hawaii pack and not give me surfing? What's wrong with you? <laughs> um, so Jasper hails from California, and he is a four-time Olympian in surfing. And this is where I start to, like, weave the world created in The Sims with our own reality. I like doing that. It's just a much more immersive experience, and you'll see that throughout this Let's Play. 
Jasper has won two Olympic gold medals and one silver medal. He placed fifth in his last go, but he was pretty happy with that finish as he saw it as a comeback from a pretty serious injury. The doctors had told him he would never be able to surf again, and he proved them all wrong. He actually values that last round the most, as you can imagine, right? Uh, but at his young age, that means he's retired. And that kind of happens with a lot of these professional athletes, right? They retire so young because they've really kind of beaten up their bodies. Um, so now, you know, Jasper coaches surfing on the island. Again, mm, something that I will not be able to do within the confines of the game, but we'll pretend, right? Uh, he's a devoted stay-at-home dad, too, while his wife works long days and often into the night to advance her own career. Their four kids are named after Chan's favorite fashion designers, which is a passion of hers. She loves fashion. Um, Ralph Lauren and Coco Chanel. <laughs> Lauren is the eldest, and she is basically a fish out of water whenever she's not on a beach. Like, that's where she, like, is her most comfortable. She loves being on the beach, and she loves swimming, and she loves diving, and she loves all those things. Uh, she is a true child of the island. It's quite obvious this little one will follow in her grandpa's footsteps, just like her mother is doing. Uh, they have twins Ralph and Chanel, who are toddlers, and they just had a teeny beeny itsy little bitty oopsie baby. <laughs> Andre, uh, who is named after Andre Chanel, nephew of the famous designer. The Murphy household is a busy household, for sure. Now we'll talk about twin brothers Chow and Bodhi. Chow is single, much to the detriment of his mother, who would love to see him settle down and start having kids of his own. But this guy, <laughs> he is living that single life and loves it. He owns the Pier Perfection restaurant, which is quite famous on the island. I've added in some custom mods since you can do that with The Sims 4. I am modded up, guys. Like, I've got custom content, I've got mods, I've got all kinds of things on this game, which <laughs> can be detrimental, to be honest. But that will help me refine the Dine Out experience, which has always been lackluster since that game pack was released. Uh, we had a game pack called Dine Out, one of the first ones, but uh, it was it's still to this day very troublesome, I, I will be honest. Uh, Chow is bi, liking both men and women, so this guy gets around. And he's friends with, like, everybody, you know? Uh, an exceptional gourmet chef to boot. He's quite the catch. I mean, like, he's the dream guy. Am I right, ladies? Like, cook me dinner every night. Yes, please. <laughs> but I'm not sure his family's influence will ever get him to commit to one person. At least not anytime soon. Bodhi is only eight minutes younger than Chow. But he's by far much further along in the life their parents imagined for their children. He is married and has two kids already. Uh, he went off to veterinary school and came back to work in the conservation group where he gets to see his eldest sister every day, helping to provide veterinary care for all of the marine life on the island and some of the landlubber pets around town too. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we don't have a veterinary, like an active veterinary career. I would have loved to have seen that. I tried looking for like a mod that would do that for us, but I couldn't find one that really worked. Um, one summer night, right after returning from Brightchester University, which is a university in The Sims, he met a young girl who was on vacation at her family's beach apartment. And that was all she wrote. He was a goner. <laughs> May Zhao is that young lady. May comes from an extremely wealthy and powerful family in the faraway land of China. There it is again, the blurred lines between game worlds and real life countries. You know, it's just my thing. <laughs> Her father is a real estate mogul, amassed a beyond imaginable amount of wealth. He has an apartment building, one of the few on the island that he rents out as like an Airbnb style destination living. When she met Bodhi, she wanted to stay in Solani permanently. But her parents, <laughs> the very strict conservative Sows, told her they were not going to give up their lucrative vacation rental income to rent out one of the apartments to her permanently. <laughs> 
It was their attempt to sway her from staying there and returning back home to Beijing. Mei has an older brother, and the family business was always going to go to him. Her parents never even considered her. Uh, basically, her brother would have to take care of her once they passed on. Um, so Mei married the boy she fell in love with and set out to make her own wealth. She desires to become her own property owner, uh, but right now she's just living in Bodhi's tiny two-bedroom duplex until they can save up uh, more money to do what she really wants to do. Bodhi and Mei had their first kid right away, Hai, who is named after Mei's brother, Hai Zhao, and they have a toddler, Theo, named after Bodhi's grandfather, Vin's father. Now, this is going to be the main active family for our Let's Play, so we'll be seeing them quite a lot. The Zhaos live in both Beijing, China, and The Sims version of Beverly Hills, The Pinnacle, which came with the Get Famous expansion pack. Now, this was a disappointing pack, to be honest, but it was an early one, so they've gotten better. Um, the world was clunky, and the gameplay was very small, minor, but with it came the acting career, and that career is actually pretty fun. I do like that career quite a bit, and basically what could very well be Los Angeles, California, and that's pretty much what I'd call it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so I always say, oh, we're going to LA, <laughs> right? I mean, we have Starlight Boulevard there, which is basically Hollywood Boulevard, and you have like the studio lots over here with like the limos in front and so on. The Sows have two headquarters, one in Beijing and the other here in LA, uh, probably like one of these buildings over here. So <laughs> that's kind of how I've pictured it in my head. The dad, Huyang Sao, and the mom, Ming Na Zhao. Now, if you know me, you know I love Star Wars. Like I said, my company is making a fan film trilogy that continues the Skywalker saga, so it runs pretty deep for me. <laughs> uh, Papa Zhao is very strict as a father, but loves his two kids very much. He had an arranged marriage to his wife, ming -Na, but he did, in fact, fall in love with her, begging his parents to make it happen for him at any cost. <laughs> However, that feeling was not reciprocated by ming -Na herself. She did it as kind of like a duty to her family to join two big dynasties together. The Hong family, her family, which owns one of the biggest construction companies in Asia, to the Zhao family, the number one real estate conglomerate in the world. But Huang was determined to win her over, and that he did. So they are, in fact, very happily married and very in love. Mingna is also a strict mother, but much more sympathetic with her children than Huang. As for Hai Zhao, the older brother, well, he hasn't had it so easy. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure on him to take over the family business, and he had one marriage fail on him already, and fail pretty badly. Uh, he had a, a big acrimonious divorce that took years to get through and cost a load of money. His ex-wife wanted kids right away and he did not, so she cheated on him, got pregnant, passed off the kid as his, but it sure was not. <laughs> Hai was hit with a paternity suit from his ex's lover and he proved that the kid was in fact his uh, and not Hai's. So <laughs> lots of drama there. But Hai met and fell in love with an actress because, of course, it's L.A., right? <laughs> uh, Madison Vanderbilt comes from a long line of what we in America consider American royalty. So Madison doesn't lack for money, not in the least. But she's only 23, so she doesn't want kids right away, not for a long while. You know, she kind of wanna wants to uh, work on her career. And that is what appealed to Hai the most because he, too, doesn't want kids until the very last minute. If he can put that off... As long as possible, he'd be very happy. Uh, he know he will need errors at some point, but doesn't want to have them with just anyone. And so that's the family, all of them. And if you're asking, where's the drama? <laughs> There's plenty of it. From the nosy elder Yangs who rub May the wrong way because they're constantly telling her what to do and how to do it, to the struggles of a stay-at-home dad that is juggling four kids and an absent wife, to a very traditional conservative family that sees girls as wives and mothers but little else, to a very jealous, previously scarred man that has trust issues with his beautiful young actress and a wife, to a single guy that wants to stay single despite the urgings of his meddling family, uh, to a young girl that fears leaving the nest to expand her studies and life. Uh, but the goal here is to have May finally strike out on her own as a real estate baron 
proving her family wrong and for Bodhi to finally decide if he can be away from his family and start his own vet clinic. That's really what he really wants to do. If you don't know much about me, you can visit my site at mariaespino.com or tlp-gaming.com to read a bit more about me and my husband, co-owner Jacob Knoll, and the amazing things we've been up to, like creating our very own Star Wars fan film trilogy called After the Sequels. If you want to check out that project, you can head on over to afterthesequels.com. I really hope you guys join me in the telling of this story. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Comments are so great for boosting engagement, so do that, please. I'll be pinning a comment down below to ask you guys to vote on what goals May and Bodhi will have to get done for our very first episode. And I'll be doing that for every episode so that you guide this journey with a few clicks of your keyboard. So I'll see you guys soon.